Couple days ago on Unreal Fast it was announced that Unreal Engine will introduce subscription-based license when it is used for anything else but game development. There was a big amount of disinformation currently going on and in this video I would like to talk about it and explain what actually happened and who will be affected in my opinion by the changes that will come next year. Hi there, Post Processes here and let's figure out what actually will change with the announcement of the subscription plan for Unreal Engine. On October the 3rd on Unreal Fest, Tim Sweeney, the CEO of Epic Games, addressed Epic Games layoffs and mentioned that for Epic Games to run business successfully, they need to find another income sources and that would be achieved with a subscription plan for different industries besides game development. You can watch the full video by the link in the description, but Tim is such mumbler that it's really hard to understand what he says, so I will make it in writing quotes. As Epic Games faced some financial struggles few weeks ago and needed to act quickly on it, they laid off around 16% of employees. And introduction of subscription plan is the part of strategy to make company financially stable. Tim recalled that other engine royalties have been discussed recently in the industry. Starting next year, Epic will move to a seed-based enterprise software licensing model for non-game developers. So game developers will still be able to use Unreal Engine for free until a title they ship earns over $1 million in revenue and 5% share after that remains the same. It's fundamentally how Unreal Engine is funded now, which is basically breaks down to if you succeed, we succeed. For game developers nothing changes, which is good. But if you work in another industry, you would need to get a license. Unreal Engine right now gets more and more implemented in film, commercial and automotive industries. It's currently used for virtual production, previews and even some VFX and composure. Also some commercials in the automotive industry are completely made in Unreal Engine. And Epic Games doesn't get any royalties from this, but it's massive market. Starting next year, production or post-production companies will need to buy license per seat in order to use it in commercials or movies when they ship the product. It is not going to be unusually expensive or unusually inexpensive. New model will be similar to software like Maya or Photoshop, Tim noted. Exact dates and terms will be announced later. But what also was mentioned by Tim? If you never ship in a product that is royalty barren, then you never pay any money at all. Essentially what it means that if you do anything in Unreal Engine that doesn't bring you profit, you pay nothing. And in my opinion, you don't need to purchase subscription and continue using Unreal for free. What Epic Games currently has in terms of licensing options is standard license, which is completely free to use and fits for learning or making personal projects, YouTube videos and even games until it reaches $1 million revenue when shipped. And there is the second option, enterprise license, which I think changes were announced for, as Epic Game doesn't receive almost any income on that, as not many companies purchase that license for $1,500 per year. This whole section probably will be rebuilt and this is why Epic doing it. As I mentioned before, Unreal now used for film industry and doesn't earn from it. Who will be affected by the upcoming changes? Well, definitely automotive companies which use Unreal Engine for design and visualization, as I'm working in one myself right now and we heavily use Unreal Engine for presentation and visualization. Hollywood movies or any film production and post-production companies that do music videos and commercials using Unreal, for example Barbie movie use Unreal Engine during filming. All of you and me as individuals probably will not be affected unless we ship final products and make gigantic revenues from that. But most of the time you collaborate with some production company when you make something for a big brand and it's not your burden to bear the costs covering Unreal Engine license. I always include licenses and invoices, for example, sometimes I need to use Maya and I don't pay for that myself. I either ask company to provide me with license or cover the cost of it. My thoughts on the whole this situation. I think that pre-production, production or CGI using Unreal Engine will just become more expensive to cover the cost of license. But Epic Games need to price it smartly and develop affordable plans. If the price will be higher than Maya and V-Ray, for example, automotive companies will probably switch back to it or Blender instead of using Unreal. But right now we should not panic as it will not affect us as individual creators. And if you still want to learn and showcase your work in Unreal, post it on YouTube, you are totally fine to do that. So let's wait until all the changes and plans are announced before we can judge. In my opinion it's not that dramatic as it pictured by the media and we should not worry yet. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this and thanks for watching, see you in the next one.